Seeing his side at a disadvantage, Caesar personally entered the fray fighting alongside his favorite warriors as he yelled to his legion, Are you not ashamed to hand over your general to boys? The tenth pushed back the Pompeians with all their might, winning the day and the war. In a short span of time, Legio X had become Rome's most successful legion, but what they had forgotten was the fact that their fate was too intertwined with Caesar. After Caesar's assassination in 44 BC, his adopted son Octavian recognized the need to disband this legion who was overtly loyal to his late uncle. Although Legio X was only in service for less than two decades, their impact and success as a soldier group was more profound than some of the other legions who remained in service for centuries. The Sultan's pride and a formidable arm of the Ottoman military, the Janissaries emerged as the first real standing army in Europe. Up until the 14th century, men would just be called up to fight as and when a king or lord needed them. Once the war was over, the men returned to their normal life. However, the formation of the Janissary unit would change this forever, but even their establishment was an accident. It was during the reign of Murad I who ordered that a group of Christian men taken as prisoners of war be converted to Islam and then serve as his personal soldiers. He was so impressed with the results of his little project that he ordered it to be repeated. So whenever they got the opportunity, Troops of the Ottoman Empire would take young Christian boys, you